why don't countries ever play hide and seek? Because good luck hiding when Qatar has already caught you. Welcome dear viewers to a journey that's going to take you through the heart of the Middle East to a city that's as surprising as our opening joke, Doha, the capital of Qatar. Now, when you think of Doha, you might imagine a city that's all shiny skyscrapers and futuristic architecture, and you wouldn't be wrong. But there's more to this city than meets the eye. It's a place where the past and the future are not just living together. They're having a party and everyone's invited. Doha is a city that's been around for centuries and it carries its rich history with pride. The smell of spices in Souk Wakif, the traditional marketplace, the call to prayer echoing from the mosques, the beautiful Arabic architecture, these are all part of Doha's charm. It's a city that's steeped in tradition, but it's also not afraid to embrace the new. The cityscape of Doha is a testament to this. It's a blend of the old and the new, where ancient forts stand next to towering skyscrapers. It's like stepping into a time machine, only this time machine has Wi-Fi and air conditioning. And speaking of air conditioning, let's talk about Doha's weather. If you love the heat, then you're in for a treat. Because in Doha, it's like being in a sauna, all year round for free. It's a city that's so hot, it makes the sun look like a snowflake. But don't worry, the locals have mastered the art of staying cool. They've got this thing called air conditioning, down to a science. And when the weather gets too hot to handle, there's always the beautiful blue waters of the Persian Gulf to cool down in. So buckle up, dear viewers, because we're about to dive into this fascinating city where the past and the future are having a party and the weather is always hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk. And remember, in Doha, you don't need a sauna to sweat. The sun is more than willing to help. Ever wondered what a 100-year-old market looks like when it's not napping? Welcome to Souk Wakif. This isn't just a market, it's a living, breathing piece of history, alive with the symphony of bargaining voices, the clatter of traditional coffee pots, and the sizzling of kebabs over open flames. Here, the air is thick with the scent of aromatic spices that could kickstart a sneezing marathon. Traditional garments, each with a tail spun into their threads, hang proudly, awaiting their new owners. Food stalls tempt you at every corner with their tantalizing displays. And pet shops? They have critters so exotic you'd think you've stepped into a pocket-sized Noah's Ark. But remember in Souk Wakif, haggling isn't just an option. It's a sport, and you're the star athlete. So flex those negotiation muscles and dive into the fray. So if you visit Souk Wakif, remember to bring your bargaining A-game, because the price tags are just the opening line of an epic negotiation saga. Art lovers, prepare to feast your eyes and no, you can't eat the exhibits at the Museum of Islamic Art. Let's delve into a place where the whimsical world of art and architecture come together to create a spectacle like no other. The Museum of Islamic Art in Doha, Qatar is not just a museum. It's an experience that takes you on a journey through time and culture. This architectural marvel, perched on an artificial island, is a sight to behold. Its unique design, inspired by ancient Islamic architecture, is a modern interpretation of the traditional. Just like a well-crafted joke, it's all about the timing and the delivery. Now, let's talk about the collection. This museum houses one of the most comprehensive collections of Islamic art in the world, spanning over a thousand years and across three continents. It's like a grand buffet of art. But remember, no nibbling. Imagine strolling through a labyrinth of exhibits, each one more fascinating than the last. You might end up feeling like you're in a maze, but hey, getting lost has never been this fun. And who knows, you might even stumble upon your artistic side that's been hiding all these years. In fact, let me share a little secret with you. They say if you get lost in the museum, you'll find a map, but not any ordinary map. It's a map that brings out the artist in you it's a map that lets you paint your own path, your own story. It's like a piece of art that guides you through other pieces of art. A bit of a fun twist, isn't it? So, whether you're an art connoisseur or a curious traveler, this museum is sure to tickle your funny bone and your aesthetic sensibilities. It's a place where humor and art coexist, making the experience all the more special. 
So, if you're lost in the museum, don't worry. You're not alone. Even Picasso would be lost in here. That's the beauty of art. It's not about finding your way. It's about losing yourself and finding something much more valuable in the process. If you thought pearls only belonged in a jewelry box, wait till you see the Pearl Qatar. Imagine a place where the streets are lined with high-end boutiques, each one more extravagant than the last. Picture waterfront restaurants that serve meals so decadent, they'd make a king feel like a commoner. Now, add in a marina filled with fancy yachts, each one a reflection of the wealth and opulence that defines this place. Welcome, my friends, to the Pearl Qatar. This island, a man-made marvel, is Qatar's very own ode to luxury, a testament to human ambition and engineering prowess. It's where the world's elite come to play. And for the rest of us, it's where we get a taste of that millionaire lifestyle, even if it's just for a day. As you stroll down the meticulously designed walkways, you can't help but marvel at the architectural beauty around you. Modern and sophisticated, yet with a touch of the traditional, the Pearl Qatar is a visual feast for the eyes. But it's more than just a pretty face. There's a vibrancy here, a pulsating energy that's hard to ignore. The boutiques are a shopaholic's dream come true. From designer clothing to luxury watches, they've got it all. And the waterfront restaurants, oh, they're a gastronomic delight. Serving everything from traditional Qatari cuisine to international delicacies, it's a veritable paradise for foodies. And then there are the yachts. Oh, the yachts. They're like the cherry on top of this extravagant Sunday, each one more opulent than the last. They're a symbol of the unapologetic luxury that this island embodies. But here's the best part. You don't need to own a yacht or shop at the boutiques to enjoy the Pearl Qatar. Just being here, taking in the sights and sounds, is an experience in itself. So, here's a little secret. Every time I walk around this island, I can't help but feel a little bit like a millionaire. And you know what? It's quite a nice feeling. So, if you ever feel the need to be a millionaire for a day, just take a stroll around the Pearl Qatar. Who said sandboxes are only for kids? The Doha Desert didn't get the memo. Now let's take a turn off the beaten path and dive straight into the heart of the Qatari wilderness. Hold on tight because we're going on a thrilling desert safari. Think of it as a roller coaster ride, but instead of tracks, we have vast expanses of sand. And let me tell you, there's nothing quite like the adrenaline rush of dune bashing, where you skid, slide, and leap over the desert's undulating sand dunes. It's an exhilarating dance with nature, where you and your four-wheel drive partner in a ballet of power and precision. But it's not all about the thrill. There's a serene beauty that the desert holds within its sandy folds. As the sun begins to dip, painting the sky with hues of orange and purple, the desert transforms into a tranquil oasis of calm. The heat of the day gives way to a cool breeze, and the sand beneath your feet turns from scorching hot to pleasantly warm. It's a sight to behold and an experience that will etch itself into your memory. Now, I know what you're thinking. But I hate sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Well, dear friend, the Doha Desert might just change your mind. You see, this is no ordinary sandbox. This is a sandbox for adults, where the sand is your playground and the heat is your companion. There's no need to worry about sand in your shoes or your picnic basket. Here, the sand is part of the charm, part of the adventure, and just when you think you've had enough of the heat, the desert night sweeps in, bringing with it a blanket of stars so thick, you'll feel like you can reach out and touch them. It's the perfect way to end a day of adventure and exploration. So, if you're someone who can't stand sand in your shoes but love the heat, the Doha Desert is your perfect paradox. Well, that's Doha for you. A blend of the old, the new and the hilariously unique. We've embarked on an unexpected journey, roamed the never-sleeping market, marveled at the peculiar fusion of art and humor, reveled in the extravagant island lifestyle and even played in a sandbox that's not just for kids. It's been quite the adventure, hasn't it? Now, if you're someone that enjoys the trifecta of sunbathing, shopping and sweating, then Doha is your paradise. It's a place where the sun generously bestows its warmth, 
the market offers an array of treasures and the art, oh the art, it's a delightful puzzle that leaves you scratching your head one moment and laughing the next. So pack your bags, buckle up and remember in Doha the sun always shines, the market never sleeps and the art, well it just confuses you.